Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. Please like, subscribe, comment, share, turn on the notification bell so you never miss a new video. Give you five things so. Five, four, three, two, and one. Alright, guys, so today. Oof. Today. <laughs> I will be giving my opinion on 10 things Bloxburg needs to add. Keep in mind, this is my opinion, and this is what I want the game to add. So, yeah. Alright. Now with that, let's get on with the video. Okay, so I want Bloxburg to add for number 10. Oh yeah, it's gonna go down from 10. So one's gonna be the one I really want them to add and 10's gonna be the one that I kinda want them to add but I don't care as much about. I kinda want, for 10, I want, for role playing purposes, I want to, um, Make it so you can be a customer in Bloxburg. You know, for like the jobs. Similar like a, a lot of other role playing games. Like I feel like it would be really cool if you could be a customer and then like the person working would still get money off of you. I feel like it would be good for role playing purposes. Alright, with that, let's move on. So... Um, I feel like Bloxburg should add pets. I'm pretty sure they were going to add pets, but I'm not completely sure. Oh, no. I just feel like if you had, like, starter pets or something, or maybe even a game pass for buying pets, that would be pretty nice, because I feel like a lot of people want pets. But I have a feeling they're probably never going to come, because, one, it's going to be a lot of animation, Two, it's going to come become very similar to Adopt Me very quickly. Alright. Number eight, I'm pretty sure. Um, new walls. So, here, let me, guys, let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Um... Alright, let's just wait for this to teleport. Okay, so, we all know the basic wall, you know, this, it's the basic wall, you can color change it, but I feel like there should be different kinds of walls, so you know you, how you can add, like, the, um, molding and stuff on it, where is it? You can add these on your walls. See, you can add all this stuff. Where's the bottom one? The base part. So you can add that, but I feel like there should just be like, you have the option to like extend the wall up if you want to. Cause I feel like it would be a lot easier to build instead of having to on the next floor having to build up again. I feel like it would make it a lot easier for building. And you wouldn't have to waste all your money on this. I feel like you should be able to, you know, kind of like the advanced placing game pass. I feel like there should be like a button on the side to extend the wall up or make a, like a different pattern on it. I also feel like there should be more wallpapers, but because all we have right now is bricks, there needs to be more exterior things that would be usable. Like, I, I don't know when you would use those. Like, maybe if you're making a jail or something, but like a bunch of these, I don't, most of them are for floors and there's not much to put on your wall. But most people can make it work. Okay, so next, going on with the walls, I feel like there should be unlimited floors. Because we all know, I'm pretty sure there's only, you can only go up to five or six floors. See? One, two, three, four, five. So you can only have five floors. Meaning, hotels can only be five stories tall. 
in real life, maybe they're most of the time they are about 17, 16 to 17. But I feel like unlimited floors would be good for hotels. Because I know a lot of people like making money off of it without actually going to work. So I feel like if we had unlimited floors, they could make hotels and maybe even bigger houses. Oh no, I feel like it would just be useful for role playing purposes. Because a lot of people like making hotels and restaurants and stuff like that. So, yeah. Okay, going on with that, I feel like the e- decorations could be extended. Like, a garland or mantle decor. I feel like you should be able to extend it. Like, I need to buy a fireplace. Hold on. <laughs> I need a fireplace. Um, fire. Not there. Fire. Let me just buy a quick fireplace right here. Going back into my inventory. I feel like you should be able to extend it. So if you want to have a bigger fireplace, or just be able to extend anything. Like if you want a bigger fireplace, you can just like move it across. And you can, like, move the the core across and stuff. I don't know. I feel like it would be a lot help, more helpful. And you don't need to buy a million of them. And it will probably look a lot better than buying a million of them. So, I don't know. I just feel like that would be really nice in case you wanted to make, like, a hotel. You know how sometimes in hotels or, like, fancy restaurants... They'll have, like, those big fireplaces. I feel like you could make that and it would be a lot cooler. Okay. So, some of these I did mix into two because they're kind of similar. So, okay. So, next, I feel like there should be... Oh, sorry. Sorry. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. We're on 6. 6. I feel like this should be rotten food. You know how we all have a bunch of food. And I'm sure we all have a bunch of food in our fridge. And we don't really have a way of getting rid of it. Especially if you have like a million of them. Like, I have a... Oh, not that. I have like a... 500 um, potato chips. We all have this. This is pretty much relatable to all long-time players. You have a bunch of holiday food, maybe from each year. You have a bunch of extra food from role plays. You have a bunch of, like, take quick meals and stuff. Yeah. I feel like it should just go rotten after, like, a few in-game days just like in real life how your strawberries will go bad in like two days or is that just us okay maybe that's just us but i feel like if it went rotten it would be a lot cooler for role plays because that leads me on to my next one you they had a chance to make a bigger and better grocery store if you don't know what the grocery store is it's the um where is that It's a BFF supermarket, and I feel like they could extend it and make it so you can have, like, be able to buy, um, food ingredients. This is gonna be very, very similar to, what is it called? Bro Citizens. Because in Bro Citizens... It's very similar to Bloxburg, I'm not going to lie. You, There's a grocery store there. Here, let me show you guys. So, there's a grocery store in this game. And you can buy the food ingredients for, like, mac and cheese and stuff. And you can, in, in your phone, right here, 
you can, like, see, where is it? Which app is it? This one. You can see the recipes for the oven and the grill. So for apple pie, you need to buy, is that, I think that might be butter, sugar, flour, and two apples. For baked potatoes, you need a potato, and butter, and some cheese. So yeah, I just feel like it would be really nice because for role playing, you wouldn't just make the food because there's a lot of animation put into that. I feel like everyone knows of that and it's really important to the game. So I feel like if they extended it a little further with buying stuff, the actual ingredients. That would be really nice. And I also think they should add a grill. This is just totally off topic. But I do think they should add a grill for the steak and stuff. Because I just feel like for the steak, lobster, and stuff like that, you could use a grill. And then it wouldn't be all based off of cooking levels and stuff. You would have to go buy all the ingredients. Oh my. Okay. So, next, I think there should be an easier way to get block specs. Because we all know block specs, you can get it, I'm pretty sure you can get it, like, every five to seven days. I'm not completely sure. I think you can get it on the fifth day. And if you have premium, it doubles the amount you get. Yeah, you can get it every five days. And without premium, you get 20. With premium, you get 40. So, I feel like there should just be an easier way to get Blox Bucks instead of buying it with Roblox. With Robux. Or just, like, receiving trophies and stuff. Because your 100-day trophy, you get 300 Blox Bucks. Your 325-day trophy, I think you might get 500 or 1,000 or something like that. Not completely sure, but it's something along that. Because I really feel like a lot of people have trouble getting block specs. Okay, we are getting into the top three now. So, I feel like there should be a way to send mail. Um, I already know a lot of people want this. And I feel like it could happen. Just probably not this year. I wouldn't be surprised if it does get added into this game. I just feel like if you were able to send mail, you could, like, write to your friends. Kind of like Royal High. You know, you can text them on your um, phone. And then they'll see it and they can respond to you and stuff. I feel like that would be really cool. And maybe you in the mail you would get the invites for the party instead of them like popping up in the corner right there you would get the invites for your party and you could like decorate the invites and stuff i feel like that would be really cool adding and going along with the mail i put these together because they're very similar in my mind i feel like you could you should be able to teleport to your friends because we all know it's a struggle trying to find your friend's house especially when they look like all the others it's so hard to find them so i feel like if you were able to teleport to them it would be good for role playing because if you're doing a cafe or something and a customer suddenly arrives and you're like on the whole other side of the map or you're on the mountain or something you would just be able to teleport to them and it would be a lot easier okay so top two now I feel like there should be more cars. Because in real life, there's not, like, how many cars are there? There's bikes, there's a moped, there's... Is that a tractor? I didn't even... Oh, that's a mower. Okay. That's a... Alright. So, you have, like, the two-seat car, a four-seat car, a six-seat car, the golf cart, a jeep, and what is this? Um, the really, really expensive guy. And then you have all the cars for block specs. Which is the board bullet. 
Bloxus, TS, and the Nubis Limousine. That looks like a limo in my mind, but it's fine. So you don't really have many options, and I feel like there should be more colors for cars, or you should be able to customize them more. Because it's very difficult to find your car, especially if it's like the most common color of the cars, which is normally gray or white or black sometimes. And I feel like a lot of people have cars, and if you're like me, you probably are going to end up having one of the cheaper cars, which most people will probably have, because I highly doubt they're spending $170,000 on a car. So, in my mind, I feel like if you were able to customize it more, at least, or you could just make your own car entirely, because there is the, um, what job is it? What's the job called? The mechanic. I feel like if you went to the mechanic, you could go and get your tires changed and stuff. So I feel like if you were able and get like oil and paint your car and stuff. So I feel like when you get your car, you should be able to change the tires, make a unique tire maybe. You should be able to, you know, like, color the tire and stuff. And then it would, maybe it would break down and you would have to get oil or you would have to get towed. Oh, no, I feel like it would make the game a lot more realistic and a lot more fun because you never know what's going to happen on the road. You could be on a road trip suddenly on the mountain and suddenly your car breaks down. I feel like it would be a lot more realistic than just building a house and trying to work for more money. Okay. Now what went in first place for this? This is my opinion on this, but I really feel like for the pizza job, you should be able to get on your car. Because we all know we all want faster mopeds. But I thought, well... If you like the speed of your car and they're not going to give us faster mopeds, we might as well ask them for us to be able to get on the car. Or maybe just be able to get off the moped a little more than like a few blocks away from the moped and then us quitting our job. Because we all know we hate it when we quit our job because we're trying to... This is for me. I personally work and then I like taking screenshots of the biggest amount of money I've made I don't know if that's just me but that's why I hate it so much when I accidentally get off my thing my moped and then I think that I'm still on it and then I quit the job so I feel like if everyone likes the speed of their cars we should just be able to get on our cars and deliver pizzas that way. Or maybe they could add a delivery car that's a little bit faster that maybe you could unlock with a game pass or with so- at a certain level, like level 50 maybe, you could unlock um, a delivery car because you get all the other stuff. So I feel like when you unlock all the other stuff, like the trophy for it and everything on level 50, you could unlock a delivery car, which is a little bit faster And I feel like it would still be pretty common for everybody to use the moped. It wouldn't be that much different. Let's be honest here. How many people really have level 50? Most people are at level 40 or 30. I'm at level like 19 or something. I'm level 20. Most people are level 20 or 40. Because it's, we'll be honest here, and most people don't have level 50, so. Yeah, that's the top 10 things I think Bloxburg should add. Comment down below your opinions on what they you think they should add, and if you agree or disagree with some of my points. Alright, well, if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe, and until next time, peace.